Doc, another great comment that I saw in a recent video is questions on SARMs. There's a ton of talk about them right now. They're kind of like the hot new thing. Yeah. Anabolic steroids were kind of the hot thing back in the 90s, and they've, they've kept, kept rolling. Yeah. But the new thing is kind of SARMs. They're more widely popular. You can get them a lot easier. What is your opinion on them? Are they damaging? You know, what are the negative side effects that you've seen recently? What a great question. Just yesterday, I was talking to a patient of mine, I think in Virginia, and he was stuck. You know, all the guys in the gym, the new thing are SARMs. These are more power lifters. And they're, so they're using tons of SARMs, multiple SARMs. Of course, they still use some steroids, but they're trying to use, it seems, more SARMs versus steroids to be healthier. Incredible. Now, I came in face with this 10 years ago when SARMs Osterman, I believe it was, just came on the market. And there was a man that said, Doc, here's what I want to do. And again, don't do this. And this is something that I did not tell him to do. He said, Doc, I don't want to use any pro hormones anymore or steroids. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to use one of these SARMs. And he did, against my advice. And we looked at his labs and his labs looked just the same as if he was on 50 milligrams a day or more of, of Anabar. So his, his liver enzymes were elevated. His HDL was super low. He didn't feel any better. And he actually felt like it doesn't, wasn't even really helping him. So that was where I saw the events. And from that period forward to today, when men are on steroids, they don't specify the exact dosage of the, of the SARMs versus the Anavar, Anadrol, the steroids. It's unfortunately all mixed in. So there's no data for this that it's per, more protective or it's safer. Matter of fact, my opinion is it's not safe at all. And the doses that are used and the multiple drugs that are the multiple SARMs that are used at once and the and the doses are equally as damaging as oral steroids. This is 100% broology. Again, I'm not putting people down. I, I, I'm just saying what it is as a scientist. But I am saying that you shouldn't do it. You should be careful. You should see a doctor. And if you're health conscious at all, you just shouldn't do steroids at all. If you want to take no risk, you don't do steroids. And then it's a, in a graded fashion downward, how much for health, how much more risk do you want to take? How much risk are you comfortable taking with these drugs? And then we talk all scientifically as I do about the beta blockers, calcium channel, ACE inhibitors, what can you use to block all these effects? These are all new discussions that we should be having in our community. But do you know what you're doing and will you feel comfortable knowing that you're taking something that could damage you and what is this mechanism? So that's all I get my head around. That's all I work on. That's what I'm an expert in. So in the end of the day, when you're 40 years old or 35 or even 28 and you have a heart attack, how do you feel about that? I feel that you have to provide people with, with their own insight and their own knowledge and truth and power to look at what their labs and their heart and people really do make the right decisions. Are these going to be pro bodybuilders, power lifters, and strong men? Are they going to do it to stay to the top, top, top and keep taking these drugs? Uh, probably. But, well, can we educate people that they're going to get hurt and, and how they can maybe block that? That's ethical, the right thing to do. Those are my feelings. Thank you. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy. Yeah.